What's up everyone, this is Levi with Young Comics, and today I am in a new shop that just opened up in Minnesota here in Stillwater, Mint and Box Toys. I think the, uh, the store owner, his name is uh, Michael. So this is my first time coming here, grand opening, this is a Friday, and I can't wait to show you guys what's in there. Uh, I mean, I'm mainly here for the comics, so yeah, stay tuned. Got some cool toys. Okay. Do you guys have like uh, Japanese, uh, you know, the common writers? Common writers? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Do I don't have, have any. Oh, dang. But I'm going to try to get some because, yeah, I know those are. Pretty I like popular. those. Yeah, I like yeah. those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm even getting back into common writers. So. <laughs> Yeah, mass writers. What? Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, yeah. It's the same, it's the same treatment as operators. It was right, done right. by Saban and everything. It's like the Knights of Tiernog and all those other ones. Yeah, I love mass writers. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and I just want to quickly show you guys what I picked up. So let's get right to it. First one is Justice League number 26. This is I believe is a cameo appearance of a character. I don't remember the character's name. This one is uh, Justice League of America 61. This is the cameo appearance of this character called Bloodwind. And I also got number 60. Wait, 76, sorry. 76 and 77. 76 is the cameo appearance, part one of the Blood uh, Secrets. And this this issue, number 77, is part two of it, which introduces the new character of uh, Bloodwind, which is a really cool character. I believe he gets his powers from the suffering and pain of people, I guess. Not entirely sure. Also got this awesome book, Green Lantern number 25. This is like a major big book, honestly. Uh, it's it's like first appearance of uh, was it Lecriticus or whatever Lecritus, and also the first uh, very first Blue Lantern, I believe, and other corpse. Also, next one is Jim Lee Wildcats Newsstand Edition.
I got this book, Shadow of the Bat number 30. This is the DC logo variant, which I never even, never ever find out there in the wild, honestly. It's not even on Key Collector. And next one is The Adventures of Superman 515. This is a pretty decent book. DC U logo right here. Pretty rare copy. Next one is Adventures into Fear with Man Thing. This is in the issue number 17. This is the first appearance of this character called Wondar. Awesome cover with Man Thing on there too. Introducing a new character. This is a pretty pristine condition. And this is the, I believe, the first volume of uh, The Man Thing, issue number nine. Not a key issue, but it's still a nice book. I love the awesome uh, bronze horror books. And I also picked this book up too. Uh, Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 128, as you can see right here. It says, plus the black cat in her new costume. And a cameo appearance by Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. Cool book. And another issue of Legends of the Dark Knight, number 63. I always try to find these kind of rare books where the DTU logo is there, printed. These, I believe these used to come in like combo packs, but very limited amount of these copies are out there. And issue number one of Breach. Uh, I wish this was a, a key book, but it's like a minor character in the DC universe. Breach. He's kind of like a Superman, honestly, but he doesn't, he's obviously, he's not like a weak or a weak against Kryptonite like Superman, but he's, he's pretty cool. He can fly and everything. The Flash 222, wait, 225, sorry. Um, this is the first appearance of Linda Park, I think. Uh, Barry Allen's daughter, one of his daughter. I don't remember all these keys. And the new X-Men, issue number 124. This introduces, I believe, a team, but like multiple characters. I think, I believe four char new characters in here. And next one is X-Men 188. I believe this is the volume two. And this issue is the introduction of Children of the Vault. It's a really cool book. This is just a minor spec for me. Introduces it introduces like four to five new characters, I believe. Pretty cool. And the next one is Mars Patrol Total War. I looked this book up and it's issue number six. Nothing big about it. I love the artwork on it. There's so much action going on. And next book is... Let me just take it out right here. This, I believe this is the uh, cameo appearance of Batman Beyond in the actual DC run. And issue number 23. This is the, I believe, first full appearance of Batman Beyond, which is pretty cool. I read through it. And this one, Strange Tales featuring the Golem. Issue number 174. This is the first appearance of this character called golem right here pretty cool nothing big about this character but it's a really cool book with a, the awesome artwork he's trying to save a lady is he man or monster i love these bronze age and then my last book that i want to show to you guys is this one this is probably my favorite find from the the shop rudolph the red nose reindeer and from cgc they list this book as the very first full appearance of uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in a, I guess, a reading format of a book or so. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This was one of my favorites. I, I even checked it and looked inside. This is the first print of this book, 1939. So yeah, that's, I mean, I see this book go on eBay around over 50 to 100, maybe two, $300, depending on the condition. But this is a pretty pristine condition. I haven't bagged and bought it yet, but uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it.
And th thank you for stopping by, guys, and uh, taking your time to watch my video. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe out there. Peace.